Hey guys, it's Hugh here and I've got a new tip for you on how to do on-page optimization with the Yoast SEO plugin. It really works great. I'm going to show you how to use it. And there are a lot of people who are going to sell you, you know, paid solutions to solve your on-page SEO optimization problems, but you really don't need anything except Yoast SEO. And I'm going to show you how to use the free Yoast SEO plugin to do all your on-page optimization today. First thing you'll need to do is get that plugin. And to do that, you're going to click Add New here, and you're going to just search for Yoast, like Toast with a Y, and just search for that. And it's going to be probably the first plugin that comes up. As you can see, yes, I already have it installed. So you just click the install button and follow the prompts to get it installed. Once you do have it installed, you'll notice that when you go to add a post or a page, you're going to see some special options on that page, on that post. And they come up just like this. The term I'm going to try to rank for here is German Shepherd Guard Dogs. And as you see, that's what I want to rank for. And Yoast down here is giving me some indicators that perhaps I may not be focusing correctly on that word when it comes to my content, my article heading, my page title, meta description, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is go back and try to make these changes. And obviously the first thing I would do is change the title. And as soon as I click out of that and check back, you're going to see that it's showing me two yeses now because the page title is what you name that post. It also will become the article heading in that post when it's viewed on the World Wide Web. Now to change the page URL, we're going to edit the permalink here so that it has the exact focus word in it. And now that we've done that, we don't see the yes here yet because it's a very important thing you're going to have to do is update. So if you don't click update, you're going to lose all those changes and they aren't going to help you anyway. So you can go ahead and update that page. And now I have the yeses in the article heading, the page title, and the URL. I don't have it in the content yet or the meta description. So what I want to do first is edit my content to have my focus keywords in it. So I now have it in the content, but again, it's not showing the yes yet until I update the page. Now that I've updated the page, it does show yes, I do have it in the content. Still not showing in the meta description now. So we're going to have to go ahead and add a meta description here. And as soon as I put that phrase in there, you can see it's showing the yes now. But don't forget, you do have to click update in order to save those changes. So now it's, uh, my SEO's reading here is okay. And this is the Yoast indicator. It's not great, but it's okay. Let me show you another thing here. Now, if I wanted to make this title um, want to go ahead and make that title huge and long like that. Now Yoast is going to give me a warning here. See the title display in Google is limited to a fixed width and yours is too long. See you can see that. So that means we can go ahead and work on that. Now you can write a different title down here if you want to and it's going to show that title or you can just edit it edit it up here and 
in this case, I'll just sort of shorten that a bit. And the warning has disappeared. So now we can see that this will show up in Google looking like this. And I've got my, of course, I probably should fill out the meta description a bit more. Let's go ahead and update that now. And SEO is still okay, but we can actually make it better by clicking the page analysis here. And now it's going to tell me some really specific things that I can do to make this article more SEO friendly. The first thing it's telling me is that there's way too little text in the article. I mean, you should really have like 400 words in a, re in a decent article, and now I only have 22. So let me just go ahead and add some text to this. I'm going to pause while I do that. So I've added some words to this article, but it's still telling me that it's below the 300 word minimum. I think that's reasonable. It wants me to add more content. So I actually did write more than that. Let me just go ahead and add those in and we'll update. It says SEO. Okay. We'll go ahead and update that now with all those ex you know, additional words. Now it's going to say SOA, uh, SEO good over here. And I've got a 328 word count. You've got five mentions of the uh, focus keyword in the content. And if we go to page analysis, that particular complaint has disappeared now. So let's go and deal with the next one, which is adding an image. If you have some of our software, you can probably get a royalty free image from with viral uh, image creator pro ICC express ICC pro or whatever you use. We have some uh, images we've gotten already on this blog. So I'm just going to kind of insert one. Now we have an image showing in that page and uh, we'll center it. Let's see what Yoast has to say. Still says no image, but that's because we have to update. So let's go ahead and update. And now it says the image do, does not have an alt tag. And I knew that I knew it was going to say that. So that's why I left that. because I wanted you to see that. So we go back to the text and we're going to fill out the alt was we've got an alt here, but it doesn't say much. So we'll just go ahead and actually, uh, emit. I know that's, this isn't really a German shepherd guard dog, but let's just say image of German shepherd guard dog. So now it has our focus keyword in the alt text and we'll update it. Come back now and see what Yoast has to say about that. And has a couple of more pretty good suggestions here. Now, I'm not sure about this flesh reading ease test. Um, I have to learn about that. I don't know about that yet. And I probably tend to write, you know, me to, you know, be concede or anything. I tend to write probably a fairly high level. So, you know, I don't really talk down to people when I write. So uh, I, what I will do here though is we'll change the meta description. In fact, what I'm going to do is probably just take a paragraph from the article and put it in the meta description. Like that. Oh, I'm going to have to take some out because it doesn't, uh, it's limited to 156 characters. Let's see what happens if I just delete that last sentence. And I think that's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and update that. And check the page analysis. Okay, so again, that's reading ease. I'm not going to deal with that, so let's just sort of ignore that one right now. Outbound links, you know what? You can really kind of spice up your on page SEO if you get an outbound link from Wikipedia. So 
or some other um, authority site. Rather, you get an outbound link to that site. So let's go to en.wikipedia.org and just sort of search for our keyword and see if we can actually find it by the whole keyword. If we can't find it by the whole keyword, we'll just find um, kind of the base keyword like German Shopper. Let's just see. Guard dog. We could use both of these. Okay, so I'm going to use or let's just open and make sure we see what it is. That looks pretty good. I'm going to start with this one. And I'll just put a link here with German Shepherd. And I'll put that link to that article about German Shepherd on Wikipedia. And then I'm going to go back to the. Let's see. The guard dog. So we'll get this one too. Check this one out. Has issues. That's okay. Wiki guard dog. That's great. And we will then put the link on. Maybe I'll, if I do it lower down, the article might be a better idea. And we'll just put it right here. Guard dogs and put the link in that's fine still saying no outbound links but that's because we have to update so let's go ahead and update that page and now we'll see that that one has disappeared we're ignoring the first one we've got one more orange which is no subheading tags appear in the copy. And that's, uh, we can do something about that. For example, we could just put German Shepherds. You don't have to, but why not follow the directions here? And we'll put this into an H2. And then I'll go down and um, do something like this and make that an H2. And then it's not saying yes, so we update the page. So remember, the title always becomes the H1 tag. So when you put H2 tags, those are going to be smaller than the H1 that's appearing, or at least it should be with the proper CSS. Let's see what the page analysis says. Oh, you have not used your keyword in any subheading. Didn't realize I was supposed to, but I'll do it. German Shepherd. It's kind of silly uh, to do that. Let's see. Um, Since I was sort of saying that in the article, I'll say that they're the best option. And then we'll update that and see if it's not complaining anymore. Uh, hmm. Let's see what did I do wrong there. Well, it's complaining because I obviously misspelled, you know, I put Germans as shepherds. So that should take care of that. And indeed, that has been taken care of now. So I only have greens. SEO is looking good on this page. So that's how you go ahead and do that. Now, this advanced stuff is kind of handled in other areas of the Yoast plugin as well. The social, I'm not going to deal with that right now. But we have taken care of our general on page SEO optimization. And we've also done advanced uh, page analysis and we've dealt with everything on that page. So I hope this helps. This is really all you need to do to make sure you have the best on page 
SEO optimization. You don't really need a whole lot of extra stuff that you pay for. So I hope this will save you some money and also get you better traffic and rankings. Okay, this is Hugh out. I'll see you on the next one.